What's up guys, hello and welcome to another vlog episode of the India Darshan Travel Series. So finally after waiting for nearly 7, 8 nights or something like that in this hotel in the middle of nowhere, um, I just spoke to the service center and the Activa has been repaired. It's currently being washed so they called me over. So we're gonna go there. Still don't know how to do that. I probably have to ask for some help from the hotel staff or gonna hitch a ride from one of the auto rickshaws when I go outside and start walking towards it. It's about 5-6 kilometers so better to hitch a ride somehow. So we're gonna go there and learn more about what happened. So let's get started and hopefully we'll be on the move after that come back and get to the next destination. So it looks like the auto rickshaw driver overshot a little bit so there is this prakash hero Honda hero showroom and i want to go to the honda showroom so they said climb over the bridge again go down and then you'll find it there so i got off the auto rickshaw now and trying to walk and find it should be within one kilometer walk or so let's see A few inches later. Alright, so she's back. They took quite some time to do the billing, so I'm not really sure if the hotel is gonna charge me for today or not. If they do charge me, I'll stay here for one more night. If they don't, I'll move forward. But we now have new in new oils and nearly a new engine. So they have cautioned me to drive nice and slow, treat it like a brand new engine for the next 500 to 700 kilometers, and then get the engine oil changed. But yeah, it took some time, but finally we are ready to hit the road. So let's see uh, what's the situation at the hotel, if we can leave today or tomorrow and then we'll take a call accordingly, but so good to have her back finally. So I had a few small tasks to take off my list which I did take care of and it's already past 1pm so I'm guessing the hotel room already charged me for tonight, might as well take it slow and you know have a meal because I haven't had anything since the morning. So looking for a cafe nearby, it seems there is the one that's just like 3 minutes right away. So when I grab something to eat over there, I've uh, been ordering in for a while that costed me quite something because of the delivery charges but now that we are here might as well dine in. So let's go have some cold coffee in to beat the seat. Alright so finally it's evening hours, it's 6pm, the heat has died down a little bit. Um, Gonna go for another short ride back to the Anand city, which is the nearby closest city. Gonna just ride around a little bit, no particular place in mind. Uh, find some juice shops. It's been a while since I had my last sugarcane or uh, coconut juice because uh, nearby hotel, I didn't have my vehicles. So I was just walking around a little bit. So I used to cross over to that side and then there's a small shop here and that's about it. So my walking distance and exploration of this area has been very confined but now that I have the vehicle again let's go for a short ride see what interesting things we find guessing there isn't much it's still a village but still maybe we find some interesting fruits fruit juices or just a park to walk around let's see what we have here Looks like I'm in some sort of a university area, so found a whole bunch of fruits, coconut water done, uh, watermelon done, amras done, so mango pulp. Now gonna go to some restaurant area, so I didn't find any eateries yet, gonna find some snacks for now 
and it's nice and cool so enjoying the ride as well looks like a pretty big eat the kind of mall lots of different restaurants around very very big place from starbucks to mcd's they have everything found a block with a couple of hair saloons there's one here there's one there um since the hotel does not have a mirror in the bathroom it's a bit difficult to trim the beard so gonna go inside get a hair trim and a beard trim might as well use the time because it's just 7:15 pre dinner so i'm gonna spend some time here hopefully it's budget friendly because i saw some premium saloons as well so let's go and ask what's gonna cost <laughs> Good morning people. Um let's continue the vlog further. So finally it's time to say goodbye to this hotel and this Mogar village and be on our way. So oh they're doing some renovation of the road. So that side is Ahmedabad, this side is Baroda. So we're going to go down and take a U-turn and join that highway. So finally it's time to hit the road. So this is the geography of where I've been so far. So Mogar is the village where I'm staying where the hotel was. Anand is straight up where I went to explore last night. And now we're going to Baroda and that's pretty much about it. And uh, while checking out I also figured that I stayed here for 10 nights. It was a very long stay, but the first 3 4 nights I lost in just getting the things arranged and uh, coordinating with different authorities. but so glad that she's back in action and good is new so we're going to take a u turn from here and then the actual journey begins temple has a shiva statue as well on the outside cool we still have some fuel so we're going to burn it a little bit more and then forward maybe going forward we might refuel it but the speed doesn't go any more than this so we're going to go nice and slow somewhere here is where i had the last breakdown so that hp fuel station i don't have gopro caught it that's where i refueled came out and broke down right here ah fun times and i was also chatting with the hotel staff at the reception and they explained that ever since i had a breakdown there have been a few different people that have suffered the same problem um be it four wheelers be it two wheelers and a couple of nights ago when there was a power outage we were just sitting outside and we saw three four auto rickshaws also had a breakdown so i was just messing with him and i was asking him like is this place the bermuda triangle like why is nobody able to get to baroda that side or ahmedabad this side and people get stuck here in the middle of nowhere so as you can see this is literally a village there is nothing on this side nothing on that side just couple of nurseries around and that's about it and couple of fuel stations So he did say that he agrees with the observation, and then there's a lot of mechanic shops along this this segment of the highway, which is a bit strange because you usually find mechanics along the highway, but never in that big a density. And even yesterday when I was in Anand, I saw like the um, initial part of the highway where you turn to get into this the village or the, the city of Anand. Um, there's like a whole bunch of mechanic shops for two wheelers and four wheelers. So. Yeah, it was pretty interesting to figure that out. So if you're doing this highway route from Ahmedabad to Vadodara, just be a little careful of this patch especially if you're doing it in the peak heat. Right now it's still hot but the wind is 
cool and nice so it's still doable it's uh, 11 a.m i was planning to start the trip a little bit earlier but i wanted to catch up with sleep so slept in a little bit but yeah so there's like lots of nurseries around if you want to buy some plants and that's that so finding help here could be somewhat tricky at times but it's good there are some good people around as well so we keep going straight all the way to vadodara and i don't think there's anything else in the middle so probably in one one and a half hours we'll get there um, at this speed maybe even two hours but yeah we'll get there to the destination today So after running around town for almost 45 minutes, found myself a nice and modest hotel room. It's a small room, nothing fancy, just a bed, a closet. Uh, I'm just planning to stay here for one night. So that's pretty much the room I got. And then there's a small, bath small bathroom here. And on the outside, the view is of the flyover. So I think it's because of this kind of flyovers around town, all the hotels on this uh, street. They kind of lost their charm so they're kind of like hidden in the shades of the flyover now and as you can see the size of the room isn't super great but not too bad it's just so 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 i've walked into a couple of hotels or more or less all have the same problem so gonna just settle for the one that i got the best deal for so yeah as i said there i spoke to the reception and they said there isn't a whole lot to see here it isn't a very super touristic place to be honest uh, there's a palace there's a garden and there's a lake as far as i can tell so i'm gonna start heading towards the palace seems like a very big palace i don't know the ticket pricing so we'll inquire that there and along the way try to grab something to eat and already gave my clothes for laundry so later tonight i'll have that sorted as well and then tomorrow we can be on the move so um, i think i'm somewhere close to the city center so the palace is just a seven eight minute ride away so not that bad So in a short and sweet seven minute ride made it to the Lakshmi Vilas palace. Uh, the entrance is pretty grand although it's like obstructed by a lot of big trees so didn't get much but the palace is behind me. So let's go figure out what the ticket pricing is and if there is videography allowed inside. So the pricing for the Indian citizens is 250 rupees for the palace. There's additional pricing for the museum that's one and a half kilometers away from here. But the museum houses uh, some royal furniture and paintings and stuff, so I'm not going there. And cameras are not allowed inside, so I'm not going to see any clips from the inside. And you can only use your cell phone for a picture of the outside. So might take a few of those, but that's about it. I'm gonna check it out. It's a pretty big palace, but it's sad they don't allow any photography inside. 
All right, so done exploring the Lakshmi Vilas Palace of the Gayakwad royal family. It was pretty nice on the inside, but one thing I noticed compared to the previous palaces that I've explored on this trip so far, uh, we didn't go to the first floor or the rooftop this time, and there were 11 exhibits, but they were kind enough to give you a complimentary audio guide in a language of your choice. So uh, there's English as an option as well, there's Gujarati, Hindi, and I think two, three other languages, which I don't remember now. So it was nice, uh, spent some time inside learning about it. Um, was okay in terms of maintenance but it was pretty cool to go inside a palace but now uh, there's a small cafe as well right next to the water fountain so you can grab some snacks there a little on the pricier side so i'm gonna look for a nice place to dine at and then we'll see maybe we'll club the garden with the lake later depending on where it is but let's go find ourselves some food because it's nearly 2 p.m and i don't want the restaurants to close because haven't had breakfast either so Next up, something to fuel the belly. Oof, that was a very nice and hefty lunch. So their tagline is super sweet corn. So when I read it in the initially, I thought they had some sweet corn dish that they are good at. Turns out most of the dishes on the menu are made out of sweet corn. So it was a pretty unique concept and sweet corn being the central theme. Anyways, I'm now in a food coma and it's getting a little bit hot. Not at ho as hot as the previous days, but still I'm going to go back to the room and rest up a little bit. We'll come back out in the evening and start exploring the rest of the places. So see you after a short nap break. Finally made it to the last stop for the day. Caught up with sleep a little bit and that behind me is the Sursagar Lake. And that in the middle is a very big statue of Shiva. So I'm currently facing his back so gonna go walk around and try to see him from the front and the walking periphery is also quite nice you can do a nice and tidy walk around the lake and I think there are some lights as well so we'll light up after sunset so came here to see the sunset but it became cloudy all of a sudden so won't get a time lapse but at least it's a nice view and there are some Mahadev temples around as well uh, some Hanuman temples and stuff so we we'll also do the temple visit if you want to I'm gonna go find myself a nice place there's a lot of seating arrangement here and enjoy a nice view of the lake mm -hmm. 